enter Lindbergh Field every year. We suspect some are dirty or worse, carry diseases. I see a lot of sandals, open-toed shoes, bare feet in sandals. Some passengers wonder about what's on other people's feet. Others don't worry. Actually, I hadn't thought of that. We did. After our cameras see more and more barefooted passengers and passengers in socks clearing security and hearing a doctor's concern. If there are uh, individuals walking um, either barefoot or with just socks, uh, on them, uh, they'll be transmitting that fungus to the um, other person that probably might be walking over the same spot. Transmit what? What do socked or barefooted passengers leave behind? We're using petri dishes to gather samples where passengers pick up their carry-ons off the conveyor belt. There goes our tester. He drops to the floor to take samples. Then two more samples are taken. He's quick. Here, we slow the action so you can get a better look. After sampling locally, we head to Las Vegas and Phoenix, two popular destinations for San Diegans. First, we check the McCarran Airport security area, checking for fungus and mold, and then return to San Diego with our samples. Trying to figure out what kind of bacteria they are. Quadrant Scientific and Rancho Bernardo does the testing for us. You're looking right into the microscope at one sample we took. What we're looking at is a mold. These are enlargements of the samples we collected in Las Vegas, and one mold caught our attention. The lab identified it as trichophyton, which can cause ringworm and favus, a serious disease of the scalp. Favus is usually found in poorer regions of the world, places where you might find malnutrition in the population. Our next test is at Sky Harbor Airport in Phoenix. We do our collecting in the secured area as before, but with a difference. This time we're checking for more than just fungus and mold. We're lifting samples to test for bacteria. In both cities, we also take control samples in areas where everyone has their shoes on. This helps us isolate the microorganisms that are unique to the security area. We would grow the culture for about five days. The lab uses DNA matching. It's not 100 percent, but it does have a high probability of accuracy. They do find bacteria and fungus unique to the areas where passengers remove their shoes. There's a few spores here in the middle, the big bulbs there. We forward these results to Dr. Daniel Lee at UCSD. I do have concerns as far as the organisms that you found. Staph aureus is an organism that causes skin infection that goes deep through the layers, and somebody who's sensitive can pick it up. This particular organism is resistant to many of the antibiotics used these days. The other organism that I saw was Naziria. Naziria is of the, of the species and the genus that can lead to gonorrhea. Ew. Gross. Ew. That's the reaction to what we found and what we've learned. You definitely shouldn't step on with your bare feet. 